what I mean? Like if you saw me in the street or like if I've met you a couple of times, you've seen me out and I'm like, oh yeah, hi, whatever. You think Dead. I'm a bitch, but like once um, once you get to know me, I am actually a sweetheart. Okay, okay. Why do you think... Um do you think that ever intimidates guys if they were interested in you thinking ah oh, she'd never be she'd never choose um, me. I've had that I've, good I've literally heard that multiple times like I've had um a guy saying to me like you're just so like unapproachable and I'm like well mm. do I take it as a bad thing and then I had another guy that um this was like a while ago that I had a crush on and he literally said to me like obviously eventually we started speaking whatever and then he said to me like I never thought of even moving to you because I thought you hated me really? <laughs> like he literally textually said that like he actually said yeah I thought you just don't like me wow <laughs> what, what are you like with a guy that you do like and a guy that you're just like indifferent to yeah, I think um, literally that's the best way to describe it. Like, I'm just indifferent. Like, I don't really care. Like, I'll be civil, whatever. But I don't really, um, I'm not really too bothered about showing my personality, like being the funniest, whatever. Do you know what I mean? Like, just indifferent, like you said. And then um, if I do like someone, I feel like I open up a lot. Like, I can be very chatty. Like, you can really tell when I'm comfortable. Mm. Um, and I'm um, like... I feel like I've got like, you know, the love language thing, like the five lo love languages. I feel yeah. like I can really do like all five of them. <laughs> like I'll be proper, like I'll want to do all of them. So yeah, I feel like you can really tell that. Have you ever stuck it on a guy before? Have I ever what? You ever stuck it on a guy before? Like you made a move on a guy? Mm, nah, I struggle, you know. Um, no, I want to say no, unless something has really prompted me to. So it's almost like he's kind of made some sort of move. And then I've taken it from there. Um, okay. I've DM'd a couple of guys, but very like few, very uh, very few. Okay, what's your what's your opener? What's your opener DM? It depends, in it like, um, it depends. Am I replying to a story or like if it's yeah? Tell us, tell us what you've done. Um, well, I, I DM'd this. This is so funny, and I hope he doesn't see this because he's gonna think like, why is he even bringing it up? But I DM'd this one guy, and he's quite big. I'm not massive, but he's like um, quite big, like a model, whatever this, that. Mm. Um, so yeah, he's got loads of followers. Obviously he's got loads of DMs, like loads of followers on TikTok. He replied to me a year later <laughs> and then we, we started talking. So I just find that really funny. Like okay, a whole sure, sure. year later, like. What did you say? I literally just said hi. And then he said something like, you'll be, you okay, whatever. And then I Wait, said- Wait, that was the year later? Yeah. Okay. And then literally 31st of October, I messaged him. Um, Obviously, a couple of years back, and then um, I said to him, "Am I going to wait? Am I going to have to wait for another year for a reply?" Hope he was like, "Yeah, see you yeah, in 2025." Imagine <laughs> that. Would see, I'd, I'd have to dash my phone out the window. Like, oh my gosh, that's too much. Um, that's too much. But yeah, it'll usually just be like a little high basic, but then we'll um, we'll work from there once he replies. Yeah, yeah, I hear that. What's uh, how do you describe the dating scene today? In, th in three words. It's a joke. Words. I, it's a joke. I'd it, say pathetic. Okay. Um, ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, it's like a really bad, like a, a word with a really bad connotation. Um, honestly, it's a joke. Like really? that's the three words. Okay. I think it's, yeah. Why is it a Not joke? for the weak. Dep I guess it depends how you're moving. Yeah. Um, why is it a joke? I feel like a lot of people can agree, but it's just really hard to navigate. Like I feel like, these days it almost works like a job interview. Like, do you know what I mean? Where I'm here trying to tick all these boxes. And obviously, for example, say you that also trying to tick boxes. So yeah. I feel like there's no such thing like back in the day. You're like, even, um, I want to say like when we were younger, you kind of like, you just really fancy someone then get to know them, whatever, whatever. And stuff happens, like it's really smooth. But I feel like these days, it's yeah it's like very mechanical it's almost like an interview it's like really? a lot of people are like not serious as well the ones that are serious i feel like they take it very like do you get what i mean what seriously yeah way too <laughs> but way <laughs> too seriously like do you get what i mean end of the day is like we at, at the end of the day we're humans like trying to date like it's not like i said a job interview do you get what i mean mm. um but if you are trying to do this like whole spontaneous thing i feel like there's no hope like um we say when you're trying to do this whole spontaneous thing what do you mean like the other thing that I said, like actually like trying to fall in love, there's that I feel like, I don't know. I feel like there's two types of guys, right? Mm -hmm. The ones that are really not ready for a relationship and they know that and they're not even trying. And the ones that are really ready for a relationship and they are trying extremely hard. And there's no in between. And I'm so unattracted to either. Like obviously 
I feel like somehow us girls and so many girls will agree will end up really finding this type of men it's attractive right but they obviously clearly don't want a relationship they're not going to take you on a date they're not going to buy you flowers whatever whatever so you're literally begging for like a little bit of like the right attention but mm. obviously they're not giving it to you yeah. and then this type of men somehow and I know it's a bad thing for most boys just really off-putting like when a guy's really keen and he's just way too overly nice and this and that like there's something that really doesn't attract me there like I don't know and I really said like do I need therapy because of that because <laughs> um I've been like I used to be a serial dater right yeah um and I've been on like some really good dates and it's been with these kind of men that are so keen and they're so prepared for it and this and that and whatever and so somehow I'm just like you are a lovely guy but I <laughs> <laughs> um so basically the guys who make an effort with you which is what you actually want yeah you you that's off putting for you and the guys who don't make an effort with you you're chasing them unfortunately yeah and the thing is no i just want them to put an effort on me and they don't it's just them guys and Okay, um, so let me ask you a question. Is it that those guys you actually find attractive and these guys you don't find attractive? Or is it that, that is it how they, these guys are actually putting the intention and what, for whatever reason that just puts you off? I don't know. It is definitely an attractiveness thing, but it's not necessarily physical because obviously I wouldn't be on a date with him for starters if I found, found him absolutely unattractive. Mm -hmm. um, there is something, obviously they are some, somehow attractive. But yeah, I feel like, hmm. It's definitely a nice thing. Like where they are, when they way too nice, it puts me off. Yeah, I, I think, yeah, I think there is such a thing as being too nice. What does too nice look like? Like what's been your experience? Mm, just, you know, when you can tell it's not natural, like he's trying way too hard. Like let's say like he's been a gentleman, whatever. He's like pulling your chair out, this, that. But you, but you can tell it's forced. Like every two seconds he's got something like he's coming up with to be nice to you. Do you know what I mean? Like, I is feel it like forced it's too or is it him much. just making an effort? Yeah, but um, how do I say this? Like you need to measure the effort. Do you know what I mean? Like you can't just dump so much effort on me. And on date one, do you know what I mean? But okay, like, but if one of me, those give guys- bit, Give me a bit of both. Like, let's say if this one guy, the ones I'm on about on my left hand, whatever side. Yes. Um, if he pulled my chair out once, I'd probably be like in love. Like, do you know what I mean? But they don't. So I don't know if it's like a reverse psychology thing. Like, I really don't know what's the, what's the science behind it. Do you know what's really funny? And I think I know what's going on and we can explore that. And thank you for being honest and just being <laughs> this real. This is so funny because there's no way I'm putting this out there. I'm going to be single for life. No, 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 no. But I think when a lot of guys hear this and you're not the, like you said, a lot of girls resonate with what you're saying. Mm. They're like, well, you don't complain when you don't get what you want from us because clearly that's the way that it works. Like that's the only way. It's not the only way, but this experience or what you're saying right mm. which i think a lot of girls do resonate with guys go okay cool well don't be upset when you're not getting what you want from me because you've just told me if i actually put in the effort that's going to put you off me i get that i do understand i feel like um we are kind of like a lot of um men's like villain arcs do you know what i mean <laughs> what do you mean <laughs> like he's been so nice and he's been rejected like he's probably thinking so i'll never be nice again but i'm not saying i promise you that's like 99 percent of those guys yeah I, I love me a nice guy don't get me wrong but i just hate being like i hate when it's suffocating like i just want to have a proper conversation and you like just way too polite with him way too like it just doesn't even come across as sincere like you're just trying too hard do you get what I mean? I, feel like I do I know wanna, what you mean. I want to, I really want to like, like a, a guy on a level and it doesn't feel like. Ultimately. Well, it like sounds I just like want a little saying. bestie. Do you know what I mean? Like, and it doesn't feel like that. It feels like I'm on a formal, like. Do you think when a guy puts you on a pedestal, that's what ultimately we don't like. <laughs> um, that is basically yeah, again, yeah, is. I really want to be on a level. Like, um, I don't want him to think. That's you want to look thing. up to him, look no, down that's, to him. That's really that kind of makes me think he's a loser because that's my point that's why you don't he's like making him. me believe like i'm the best thing he's that's ever happened to him and he really <laughs> needs to take care of it do you know what i mean like if he's thinking if he does something wrong i'm gonna leave so he's doing too much for me not to and that's really pushing me away that do you know i i so that's making I, me think like you can't get no girl so here's here's the thing you're trying I so completely hard to get me 
I completely get you. The irony is everything you just said, a lot of women say that's what they want. They're like, I want a guy to feel, he should think that I'm the best thing that ever happened to him. He should like be doing the most to make sure. No, I, I yeah, obviously in the same way, if I've got a man, I'm going to think he's the best thing on planet earth. Like he's the best man ever. But when we actually interacting, let's interact on a level. Do you know what I mean? Mm. I want you to think that I'm the best looking, best whatever, everything. Um, but, yeah, when we interact in, I want it to be like not equal, but just like a bestie, like I said. Yeah, I think. Um, I just want like a real connection. Like I don't want to feel like almost like make him feel like he has to do all these things for me to give him time of the day. Um, He has to be naturally nice, like like I said, but um, when he's doing way too much, like. When he's given so much investment, it lowers the value of that investment to you. Yeah. And it's just kind of like, well, why is he doing this all for me when really I've not really earned that from him? He doesn't know me that well. I've not really given any cues. I'm into him as much. So he's doing yeah. the most. And then that makes you, like you said, that makes you go, oh, well, that gives the impression that maybe he actually doesn't get a lot of attention and, from women. So, like, so yeah. what's wrong with him? And also, if it sounds really bad, but that's almost like really manipulative as well, because a lot of times I will go on a second date just because I feel bad and not because I... Well, you think he's manipulative? In a way, because what? like it's, it's, given a cro it's coming across as like love bombing, do you know what I mean? No, it's It not. might not be intentional. It might not be intentional. Not well, then it can't be manipulative. It, it probably isn't intentional. But what I'm trying to say is like... <laughs> I just feel like... Guys, oh. if you're too nice, you're being manipulative. So just stop being nice. No, you know, no that, you're going to get a clip out of this as well. I know the title of the I podcast did, is going to be like, it. nice guys are manipulators. <laughs> That's a good title. Hey, clip it. Clip it. Um, well, no, I mean, I'm not it's, saying it's, it's that, but you know what I mean? Like, it's always been the case that nice guys finish last. There's a reason that yeah. phrase is, is there. Do you know what I mean? The effect it gives. Do you know what I mean? Like, why I don't want to feel about a guy like I don't want I don't want it to be an oh I want it to be like a oh, I like him. Do you know what I mean? I want to be like oh, he's so cute. Yeah. You know Have you mean? ever been overly nice to a guy? Mm, nah. <laughs> why not? Um, not overly. Like just yeah, a nice, good level of nice. Yeah. Did I? I am gen. I'm, I am generally quite nice to, to guys, especially if it's a guy I like. Like, well, if it's a guy you like, then obviously, yeah. Um, what guys are doing like? Well, I guess, I guess it's just general demeanor, right? Because maybe a guy he might see you, but if he doesn't know you, he might mm. be like, okay, like she looks cool, but I don't know if I actually like her. And then yeah. when he sees that, oh, she's actually got a kind heart, then he might be like, all right, let me try and make a yeah. move. Do you know what I mean? So with the guys that you actually want something with, <laughs> what is just it? a bunch of waste, man. I can't lie. <laughs> At least she's honest. At least she's, at least yeah, she's I'm honest. not even going to sit here and lie. They just, yeah, seek help. They should seek help. <laughs> they should seek help or yeah, you should seek both. help? Both. <laughs> it was both. What is it about? What is it about those guys that is just so alluring for you? Mm, I don't even know how to explain it, but I feel like it's a certain type of guys. Like usually they'll be very objectively attractive and that's already don't go for an attractive guy because they know they are attractive and it's just just not nice um <laughs> what's not nice you need like a medium ugly guy um <laughs> yeah all this like really excessively attractive men like why nah. do you need a medium ugly guy why, why? Um, do you want to be attracted to your man no i just feel like it's just easy it's just like a peace thing like i said do you know what I mean? It's more You're intimidated like a, by how attractive he is. I'm not, no, I'm not intimidated. I'm just intimidated, not intimidated, but I'm scared of their behavior. Like, you know how like I mean, good yeah. looking men move. And the other thing is they'll, they will nine out of 10 times lack in personality because they're good looking. They don't really need, do you know what I mean? All this like ugly men really work in their personalities. They need something. Um, do you think that's the same for women? Um, hmm. I don't know. Obviously, I've not dated women, so I can't say. I just um, I'm just going to try and out. think of like what friends and whatever. I think it might be similar. I feel like a lot of girls would like bimbos or whatever. I, guys would say it's even more so with women. Do you think? Are, Am I, I ugly? No, I would say, <laughs> no, I'd say it's more in that sense that there are more attractive women than attractive guys. Yeah, oh, 100%. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, no? No, yeah. If you yeah. walk in a club, they'll be like, yeah, 50 good looking girls and like three, if that good looking guys. Exactly right. And women can get a lot further with their looks. 
Yeah. So there's even less of an incentive for them to actually work on that character if they're really, really attractive. Yeah. So a lot of guys also find the same in women, which is why I don't know if I should. Okay, say, this is what guys mm. say. This is what guys say in circles. Not you, right? guys. Yeah, not me. I was privy to the conversations. Um, but you know when people like rate people out of 10? Yeah. Right? Like all of this stuff, right? So guys will say like girls who are eights, nines or tens are not relationship material. Hmm. We ha have just had this conversation as well. Like if you think about it, like I feel like men are just better at picking partners. Yes. And that might co go back to what I just said and I'll explain, but um, you'll see all of this high value men with kind of like midi looking girls, right? But they are solid like people. Mm -hmm. And then obviously they'll be, they'll be liking and entertaining all these like curvy girls, big bum, whatever, like pretty girls. But then they'll end up in a relationship with a girl who's maybe like a six, but she really seems like a solid person. So I feel like that's men. But then obviously on the other side, you've got a girl who's got, a 10 out of 10 guy who's a bit cuckoo, do you know what I mean? <laughs> it's a bit tapped. Yeah, so like, I feel like men are just better picking partners in the long run. Obviously, I'm not talking about like sure. um, short term, like sexual partners or anything like that. Yeah, like, I wouldn't say they're good at that. Long, long, what? Pick, uh, picking short term. Yeah, partners. I feel like that could be anything at the end of the day. But um, yeah, I think a lot of the time because the girls who are, they're like attractive, but they're not like crazy attractive. Hmm. They know how to bring value in other ways. Yeah. I think a lot of the time girls who are really, really attractive, they're so used to coast and buy on their looks that how they operate is their looks is the only value that but they I bring. But I wouldn't I wouldn't say that because let's say- Or right, that they're used to bringing. I am very much aware that I'm not a solid 10 out of 10, but I know I can be attractive. And you I are know, to someone for sure. And I know I can, <laughs> that is crazy. Um, I know- I could use my looks, do you get know what I mean? So what I'm saying, what I'm trying to say is you don't have to be, as a woman, you don't have to be an eight, nine, 10. You could even Not be- Not even a, close. You, can even, you could even be a five, six, seven and get all these perks of being attractive. Like men have really low standards. When it comes to looks, yeah, most men, most men really find most standards. women like, attractive. Yeah. So what I'm trying to say is you will, you don't really have to be, an eight, nine, ten for for those benefits that you're talking about, like for you not to, do you know what I mean? Like you could be a five, six, seven and not want to work on your personality because you're getting enough attention and this and that. Mm, if I'm being honest, nah, like you'd have to, to, to get like certain opportunities and certain things where people, um, let's just speak very plainly. For you to be bad in character, but for guys to still tolerate you, you hmm. your looks have to be on point. Otherwise, yeah, why else? But why else? Now would you you're saying that? bad character. Before it was more of like a just a dead personality. Do you know what I mean? Way. I feel like bad characters is extremely off putting. Like you could be a ten out of ten, but you can't chat to me in a certain way. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, and that's for anyone, right? If a guy's incredibly attractive, but he is bad character, that's going to yeah. be off putting for anyone. Hope you really enjoyed that clip. If you want to watch the full episode where that clip is from, then we need to click right here where you can watch the full episode. And if you're ready to claim your man today, enroll in my program below, and I'll see you there. Wishing you an amazing day.